Hello friends, today in this video we are going to demonstrate to you how to integrate RDLC report in ASP.NET MVC application. So let's get started. We say web and we say project which channel and we say RDLC demo. We say MVC and MVC is by default tick and currently we are not going for authentication. We say add a project. So this project uses MS SQL database. We have a database as a report demo. I have a table called customers and I have some data already pre-populated which has customer ID, name, mobile and email. I also have a procedure which will be called from our application to pre-populate information. We simply uh, select all from customer procedure because I don't wish to write any inline query in uh, our front-end application. So this is a a project which is loaded so first uh, let's go ahead and create our uh, customer model class we name it as customer DTO uh, I will just try to save the time by just copying the properties so we have all the four fields and um, we also go ahead and add the connection string over here when that code is ready so we just say the connection string over here so this is the the connection the name of the connection string is default connection and this is connecting to our report .demo. okay so connection string is also added now we will add the dial layer customer dial layer which will actually dial customer so this will actually connect to our database and fetch the data. So we will use certain classes since we are using data.sql client. We we'll use SQL client and we are also using since we are going to fetch the connection string from our web.config we might use this configuration class. Okay, let's also use our model class which will be required. Okay, now let's go ahead and say public list object. So we are creating a method which will return a list of customers and say get all customers. Okay, now first we fetch the connection string from our web.config. So we say configuration, configuration manager our connection strings and we pass in our default connection name and we say connection string so this fetches a connection string now let's create SQL connection CNN and we pass in the connections string and then we open the connection all done let's create a command object and pass in the sp customers procedure which i have and the connection let me just confirm whether the procedure name is sp customers yes it is still and just for now i call the i data reader i guess it requires a class using okay and reader and i execute this command execute reader with default execute reader with command behavior as default okay so now we have the connection string established we have a database connection open we have also created a command object that will call a procedure so that's what I, I didn't want to write any inline query over here. Otherwise, we can also write the inline query over here. And then we execute the command object and we get all the data in the reader. Now, let's loop in and fill in the list object. Read. Okay. And, okay, we need to create a variable to hold the customer data. And say LSD data. 
class object here it has all the properties defined so we say lst data dot add and there's a new customer detail and then we say customer id gender we call it the customer id then customer name then we call in test just do this okay and we call in mobile and then email okay so we have populated our list object and then we return that to our calling method sorry it's return that's it our dial class is ready now let's call this in the report so in order to add a report we just first we'll add a folder as reports and then we add a data set object which will customer ts so we are going to add a data table and a column ds data and we add the column as customer id and then we call in the customer name we call in the customer name uh, and mobile and email so our data set which is uh, prepared for the report is holding all the columns now this columns will be bind with a report so it's time to go ahead and add the report so i say new item we go to the reporting section click on report rdlc and say list of customers so this is a design view of the report where we are going to drag and drop the fields which will be displayed in the report in runtime first we need to add the data set so i have just named the data set we select the data set and we have the fields over here now since we have multiple records we will take the table object and we will bind it with the fields it's as simple as that and we say email we can drag it and you can format it as per your requirement and it provides a very easy tool like you can just select it format it and you can give it a color so all this is possible you can in fact change the header name also okay so this is a report as of now just formatted now the last stage is where we need to hold this report in the report viewer so for that we add a web forms as report viewer and here we need to include the report viewer component which will actually hold up the report so here's a report viewer control we just drag it and push it in the design view we also need to add the script manager so we say the script manager over here okay and uh, then let's see how does it view it so this is what it it is visible so this is how it will look in the design view now this panel is where where you all your reports can be loaded here in our case we are loading the list of customer report which we created okay so we are going to dynamically load this list of customer in the container over here okay so let's go ahead and write the routine to load the report in the report viewer go to the report viewer and go to the form object and and just write this code over there is post back make sure you handle the post back and then you call that same data set i think so we just use this code over here so what we'll do is that we will we need to reference so let me just first take up the uh, 
a DTO. So I use this and, and I say LST data and this is my model class. Then I call the DAL, the customer DAL, custom new data set and then I say list data and underscore customer DAL. Okay, and I say get all customers. So my data is populated. Now, now I will load this report in this viewer. So I need to write some code over here for the report. When report viewer control is report viewer one. So okay, so I go ahead. You can name it any any uh, name, but it is this default name is report viewer one. So I say report viewer one dot local report dot report path. Sorry. So report path and I select server map path and I select list of customers dot r d l c that's it so this loads the report now report view one dot local report dot data source dot clear just in case we need to clear it and report viewer dot local dot data source dot add and then we say new report data source we say ds data and we call in the lst list object okay and then we say close it so this is the code this is three lines of code which we write just to load the report so we are pre -populate. we are populating the information over here we are creating a data set and passing the data set over here if you want we can also add a filter over here dynamically and then load it accordingly so our report object and report is ready let's run it once let's rebuild it and uh, let's run it once okay so so the, the report is getting loaded uh, so you will have a report component over here and you will be able to see the report. Yes, so this is how the report is loaded. Okay, you can see. And obviously, since this is an inbuilt uh, report uh, controller, you can it has many other features like you can save this report in, in, in the PDF or Word file. See, like if you can just click on this and you can see the report over here. So you don't have to write any additional code. And by the way, you can also dynamically uh, generate the pdf file for using this uh, rtlc report viewer even that facility is there so if you wish to uh, uh, know for me to create some videos where you can dynamically generate the report and send it on email in pdf format do let me know in the comment section and uh, i hope you like this video please do subscribe and uh, like the channel thank you